Hey guys, welcome back to Golden Reviewer. So here we have three iPads, the iPad Pro M1, iPad Air M1, and iPad Mini powered by Apple A15. And today we are going to do a benchmark comparison between these three iPads to see how well they perform against each other. So this will be a straightforward video. I will try to keep it short. First benchmark we are going to do is Geekbench 5. This is a pure CPU benchmark. Okay, we have the result here. We see that the iPad Pro and the iPad Air scores almost the same, while the iPad mini is a little bit slower. Next, we'll run Antutu benchmark, and let's fast forward for the results. Okay, here we actually see that the iPad Air and the iPad Pro finish the test a little bit faster than the mini, and the score also tells the story. So the iPad Pro scores highest, followed by the iPad Air, and lastly, iPad mini. And I think the better heat dissipation on the larger iPad Pro does help in this benchmark. Okay, I've let the device uh, cool down a bit after the M22 benchmark, and then let's test the GFX bench. This is a pure GPU test, and I've select all the um, off-screen tests, right? So that's for comparing the absolute performance of these devices, regardless of their different resolutions. Okay, so here we have the results. Uh, here there are so many results. If you like, you can pause the video and take a look. Let's just say that the M1 is about 50 to 80% faster than the Apple A15 in this GPU test. And the iPad Pro is a little bit faster than the iPad Air as well. I think this is also due to the heat dissipation. Because for the first test, they perform almost exactly the same, but the, for the later test, we see a slight difference in performance. And last but not least, we have our 3D Mark uh, Wildlife Extreme Stress Test. This is to test the sustained performance of these devices. Yep, that's a pretty long device. It took, uh, it took 20 minutes to finish. And in this test, we see that the iPad Mini 6 actually has better stability than the two larger iPads. But performance-wise, the M1 iPads are still faster, right? Even after throttling, they score 3600 or 3400. That is faster than even the peak performance on the iPad mini 6. So yes, M1 is indeed a performance beast. But uh, I think for most games, the iPad mini 6 will be just fine. Alright guys, so that, that's all for today's test. I hope the video is helpful for you. Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.